Hey, this is Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to make some riding pants for the dolls. On the right, you can see I made it in denim, which is also possible if you wanna make just barn pants. So let's get started. Select a fabric with stretch in both directions. Now I'm choosing a beige for the breeches. However, you can also use old denim jeans. They have some stretch in them doesn't have to have a lot of stretch. And you can see here when I did these test ones, I cut the insert from a faded part of the old jeans and the rest from a darker part of the old jeans for a bit of contrast. I'm gonna sew mine together and give you directions on how to do that. However, if you want, you can use fabric glue, some uh, stretchable fabric glue and glue them and just in the same way that we're sewing them. If you're sewing, make sure you have some matching thread. And for the knee pads, I'm gonna use a chamois. You can use microfiber or whatever if you wanna use knee pads. For this one, I didn't use, for barn pants, I didn't use knee pads, but for breeches or riding pants, you should have them. On the pattern that you can find linked below, you're gonna to need to cut the main three pieces out of your stretch fabric, and then the knee pads out of your choice of chamois or whatever you've chosen. When laying out your pattern on your fabric, this is the fold of the fabric along here, and this is the cut end. So this is the grain. We want this to go along the grain this way. That gives the most stretch sideways. So we're gonna lay out our pattern and pin it on. Some pins, and then we're gonna cut that out. Since the fabric is folded, that means we're gonna get one of each piece folded in mirror image, right sides out on both sides. For the knee pads, try to find a thin end to your leather. And in this case, I don't pin it. As usual with leather, I just tape it on top and then cut it out. There's various shapes of knee pads, so you can change it up, have a look online. When you're cutting the knee pads, make sure you cut one right side up and the other right side down. Here is the finished pieces cut out. And you can see I've got letters on the seams. So we're going to first join A and A. So we're going to take one off the pile, right side out, right side out, and that piece is going to fit in there. So I'm going to flip that over and pin that to this seam. Both of the mirror image on the other side, we're gonna turn it over as that's right side. Turn this piece over, right side, so that goes in there. And we're gonna do the same on here. Once you've done that, sew along the seam and everything's a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm not gonna film my sewing because of my lack of setup there, but when you're sewing, you can do a very small uh, zigzag stitch and then go over it with a regular stitch or just use a regular stitch because this isn't gonna have any stress on it. Once it's on the doll, it stays there. Now that that's sewn, now that that's sewn, you can see I have two images. They're both right and the left. Now I'm gonna take this and put it right sides together on top and sew seam B, which is the crotch seam, just from there to there. Very important when you're doing the crotch seam on the back that these two line up. Make sure that seam lines up with that seam so it's a nice even flow through there. To make sure this lines up nicely, you might wanna hand stitch this part of the seam first or hand stitch the whole thing. Next, take your front pieces. We're gonna put them right sides together we're gonna stitch the crotch seam there. Once you've sewn the front, if you wanna add a fly, just a fake stitching for a fly or for some pockets or even add on some pockets, go ahead. Now we're gonna take the top, bottom and put it on top of the front. And sew the side seams, the outside side seams only on both sides. I have now sewn the outside seams and put it on the doll. Now, if I just roll the waistband under where it would be when it's finished, 
I can now see the length. Now, determine where you want the length to be. You can have full length pants with a hem, and at this point is a good time, if that's your choice, to hem the pants. Just turn those up and sew them. However, if you want breeches and you're gonna put boots underneath, then I would recommend cutting them just below this piece right here. So right about there, and you do not need to hem them. Since I cut those, I'm just gonna tack this little section with a back stitch just to make sure it stays solid. The reason I'm not hemming that is first of all, it doesn't fray. And second of all, as I'm gluing boots on, I don't want that extra bulk under her leg. Now that you've done whatever hem option you want, turn these inside out. And with the same, the back of the right leg or left leg together with the front of the left leg on both sides, And on both of them, we're gonna sew the whole seam from hemline up to crotch and then back down to the other hemline. If you used a serger for sewing, then your seams will already be neat. However, if you want to trim some of the edges, if they're longer than they should be or whatever, just give them a little trim to keep it neat. Now we're gonna turn these right side out. I've put these on the doll. The more you trim the seam inside here, the nicer it'll fit. Now we're gonna look at the waist. When she bends, notice this waistline comes down. So you don't wanna hem it too low. Just give it a quarter inch turn on both sides. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna either hand sew it or glue it down. When you're hand stitching this, give it a stretch to make sure your stitches are loose enough so that you can get it onto the doll. For the belt, I have some 330 seconds inch leather and a little miniature belt book I got, got off eBay. I'm gonna take the leather and measure it just a little bit bigger than what I needed. Then I'm gonna thin that with sandpaper. Next, I'm gonna thread the leather onto the belt buckle on one side and glue that down. See here, I have five belt loops and the belt on. Next, I'm gonna put that on the doll. Once you have it on, do up the belt. In this case, to showcase the belt buckle, I went underneath. And I'm gonna trim off the excess belt. You can glue it down if you want, or just leave it as is. Now take your knee pads, check them on. Remember, the boots should come up to almost just below the knee. And this piece will point to the back. If you like the shape, glue it on. If not, change the shape. And if you'd like to add some stitches, either with a stitch marker or with the sewing machine, make your stitches first and then glue it on. Now we have some riding breeches and she needs boots and a jacket next. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more.